What is going on, chat? Happy BTL Wednesday, episode 435 piece. As always, hold the fry, joined by your two hosts, Krabs and Javon, presented by Pickett Sports. If you guys aren't tracking your bets on Pickett, what are you waiting for? What are you doing? Start tracking your bets now. Use promo code Javon and start holding yourselves accountable, figuring out how many units you're up or down. It's not too late. All right, start the year 2024, tracking your bets, figure it out, uh, be a grown up, hold yourselves accountable, track your bets on Pickett. All right, the link is right here. Use promo code Shelly, promo code Javon, whatever you need to use. Go check out Pickett's fire updates all the time. Okay, people forget you can check stats as well on there. Nobody talks about that. People forget about that. You can check the stats, check the data. All right, the UX is clean. Devin knows. Go check out Pickett's. I promise once you download it, it's free. You're not going to stop using it. It's fire. Okay, we got BWA bets coming in hot with a resub. One more sleep until baseball. Let's go, BWA bets. Sure, we can. Love that. Javon, how are we feeling? About 24 hours out from MLB. Um, I believe the game started like 4 p.m. Eastern and they go all through the night. So, are you stoked? Are you nervous? How are we feeling about one day out from MLB? So hyped, dude. Can't wait to see some, some, or start sweating some bets on the diamond. It's going to be absolutely electric. So, I'm in gonna be lit all right we got 1 p.m eastern game sure orioles are officially sold w's okay need a season long entry good thing we are doing that today justin w's will benson half bases will feed families for generations to come w's okay yeah, go, ahead sure and, hit. go ahead and lock me in for that pod tomorrow i'm sure that'll hit yep i'm sure that'll hit um gosh man i'm stoked all right we've got a lot to talk about today we're gonna go over the l recaps from yesterday, once again, I can't believe we're on this cold of a streak. Hey, hey, hey. Zero, zero after one, huh? Yeah, one, one after two, four in the second or third. I think it was two, one. I believe. Yeah, it was. It was two, one. They scored right before, right before the second period ended. So yeah, two. Max, can we please hit a squad ride? Can we please hit a squad ride today? Please. Okay, I'm on the same page as you, brother. Same page as you. Let's smack one today. Let's cut the shits. We got to hit a squad rides. It's been too long. All right. Sharp report recap. L's all across the place. All right. I had three losses. You had two and a push. Sure. Uh, Bruins are free. Mavs are free. Even with the weird Luka news. Did not matter. W's there. Uh, the Flyers were free. Plus one and a half. Good thing you grabbed the points. I took that as well with you. Good play. We'll take it. Good thing we didn't take the ML. We, w- we would have been in so much piss. Oh, my goodness. Um, yeah. Gosh, man, Javon, thoughts, comments, concerns on the Sharp Report? I don't know. We're just dragging along with this weird little hangover couple days of slates until baseball, especially today. Like, we're pretty much just NBA and and two hockey games and then a little sprinkle of CBB. So it's kind of difficult to navigate, but we got to do it. That's what we're here for. Has to be done. All right, I wouldn't want to deal with anyone else. I think we can handle it today. All right, we've got NIT, we've got CBI, we've got uh, NBA, NHL, MLB tomorrow. Plenty on the slate to attack. Uh, we might as well go ahead and cut the shit and dive into the Sharp Report. But first, going to need a bitch about something. All right, we can't just hop right into this puppy without complaining about some shit. Good. We have a minute. We got 30 seconds. I got to complain. Keeps getting worse, doesn't it, huh? Just keeps getting worse. Rumor has it on Hokie Twitter, uh, there are a lot of other moves to come. This is not the only one, but this is the only one that matters. Man, that one stung a little bit. That one stung a little bit. Um, Gosh, man, the only cool piece we had coming back next year, gone. Smell you later. He'll be going to Oklahoma or some shit like that. He's from there. Uh, Much better team, much better situation. I'll be rooting for Padola, okay? Chalk the program. It's kicked. Uh, VT men's and women's absolutely in piss right now. I mean, the women's team was electric, and you know our best player's knee explodes a week before the tournament, and our coach leaves to get a Kentucky, I bet. Uh, and then Sean Padola, the day after the season ends or whatever, the week after the season ends, he's out of here. There he goes. See ya. Um, this sucks. No other way to put it. Um, did not even want to spend time putting up the – um, Lynn Kidd 
transfer and hitting the portal graphic because that doesn't mean shit. I'm blown though. I'm blown. Uh, I really enjoy Padula. I enjoy watching him play. I know he's very turnover prone. I know he's very ball hogish, um, but he was the one who kept us in a lot of these games and put on some crazy performances. So smell you later, Padula. We will be seeing. I swear to God, if he ends up going to somewhere, you know, in the ACC, I'm going to explode. And if we end up getting JJ McCarthy coming up, that's eh, just going to be another, you know, piece of piss along, along the roads at this point because there's been so much. Being a Hokey fan is hard. Being a Hokey fan sucks. Another fucking reason to bitch and complain. And Sean Padilla, our only good player coming back next year, he's gone. Javon, I know you don't give a hoot. Any thoughts on our guy, Sean Padilla? Yeah, probably uh, welcome to the Big 12, brother. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if he's going to end up. He might have go to Oak State. It's kind of the vibe I'm getting. It's going to be a poke. They need some some transfers in there too. But, yeah, VT got in piss. Might have to be a football school now. Yeah. I mean, good thing our football team is looking pretty sharp. Apparently, our QB, Kyron Jones, is hanging out a lot with Shador Sanders this offseason, going out in Florida, clubbing. Yeah, he's good, right? Two goats. Two goats. Um. Gosh, man. Padola, you are a Kentucky Wildcat. Sure. These tweets were geeking me. You guys were playing on Twitter to me. Sean, you are a Oklahoma Sooner. Those shits were geeking me, bro. Man. JJ and Padola out. I bet. Couldn't ask for any more, okay, Jack? <laughs> KD? Could not ask for any more. Oi. Brutal. Yep. We move. We groove. It is what it is. Let's get this shit off the screen. I do have something that was pretty brutal that we all saw today, this morning. Might as well talk about it. Um, our guy here, Charlie Baker, a.k.a. the biggest narc on earth, trying to ban college prop bets. Um, you know, this is more just to save face. I feel like a lot of these kids have been bitching about people in their DMs, people bitching about, um, I don't know. Wait, what? Terry McLaurin arrested? No. No shot. No. Time out. Time out. Because either the craziest thing just happened or this guy's getting banned. Cap. Ben. Cap. Ben. Mods. Get him out of here. We don't have time for that. Get him out of here. Get him out. Not kidding. Um, all right. Charlie Baker. Biggest narc on earth. Trying to ban college props. This is beat. Um, look, I mean, they're trying to save face. You got kids bitching about people complaining to him on the court. You got people bitching about him. In their DMs, uh, so to anybody who's, you know, DMing players, telling them to go fuck themselves, you guys ruined it. Thanks. Really appreciate that. Great. Um, this is pretty much just a safe face, right? The props, the player props for college basketball, for college sports, only bring in about 1.5% of all the action. So it's not like the books even really give a shit. This is more just for college, college sports to come in and say, hey, we're trying to do everything we can to keep these players safe and not have this get out of control. But it actually really doesn't do shit. Um, I think this is useless. They're trying to save face, and all this does is fuck over guys like us who make a living out of this shit. Beat. Yeah, it's stupid. It is. If I if I can't take some props for some college football games on the weekend, I'm going to be in moose. I mean, that's it's only part of it, but yeah, that's that sucks. They better not. You know, maybe Jose Perez had something to do with it. I don't know. It could have been. That might have been Jose Could've Perez been. bitching. It could have been. It is what it is. Worried about prop betting when Utah women's team is getting harassed. Yeah, I bet NCAA. Yeah, that shit was whack, too. Um, gosh, man. NAL is fine, but no props. Yeah, I mean, I just don't get it. I did make Perez better. That's what I do. I make people around me better. Okay? Push them to their limits. Um, he should be grateful. Does he have another year of eligibility? There's no way. No. I said he was uh, working on his professional career. Yeah. Professional yeah. opportunities. I mean, he could go play overseas. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you might have to. Yeah, can't have um, nice things, chats. Can't with European, it. with European coaching, he'll be in piss. He's not. He won't work out over there. Yeah, he might yeah. be in moose. He can't even come. Pat Kelsey. Either. Yeah, that was you guys wild. Hear this shit? Yeah, Pat Kelsey going to fucking uh, or is he going Louisville? Nuts. Yeah, nuts. Good for him, right? Um, one of the best mid major coaches. In college basketball, one coach of the year once again in this conference. So, Pat Kelsey, a goat from College of Charleston. Okay. Happy for him. What am I supposed to do if they ban college props? I don't know, B Camp. I don't know. Super B. Man. 
Um, I really hope this is all bullshit and they're just talking to make it seem like they're trying to do stuff for the students and players and keep them safe. But it sounds like they're probably going to find a way to ban these college props. So we'll see how it plays out. Let's hope this doesn't pan out, right? But I wouldn't be surprised with how little handle and bets these books get on the college props. I wouldn't be surprised if they say, you know what? Fuck it. We'll just get rid of them for you guys. Make you happy. That would stink. That would stink. We'll see how it plays out. All right. W's, yeah, all this is going to do is make people go back to using bookies. So it's stupid. If people want to bet college props, they'll be able to bet them. All this does is make it more unsafe. Stupid. Stupid. All right. Let's hop into the BTL Sharp Report, Javon. We got shit to do. All right. We got a hype train moving and grooving level two. Uh, we've got 10 plays, 10 winners for today's slate. We're going to go over these plays. We're going to go over the MLB BTL season long Megalodon. We're going to craft that puppy up live right on here. Okay. So stick with us, chat. We've got a lot to do. Tempo and pace. Very important today. Very important. Javon, I'll get it started out the only way we really should with some CBI championship action on this beautiful Wednesday afternoon, not even night, afternoon, 5 p.m. Eastern start, 4 p.m. your time, Javon. This puppy is going to be here soon. We got Seattle getting a line flip as well, opening up plus one, now minus one and a half on the ML against High Point. High Point was barely able to pull off a win last night against Arkansas State. Shout out to Arkansas State for covering. Love that. W's free air. Um, I'll tell you what, High Point was running out of steam in that game. You could tell uh, they were fucking gassed, and now they got to play another game today. I'm going to go with Seattle in this spot with this line flip, Javon. A significantly worse team that has been playing much better towards the end of the season. Uh, Seattle really got hot down the stretch, and they're playing some really good basketball right now. They just destroyed a Fairfield team. Their defense has been nails of late. I think High Point is too gassed right now. They like to run a little bit, uh, push the tempo. I don't think they're going to be able to do it against Seattle. Seattle doesn't want to do it. The Seattle team looks great right now, playing their best ball of the season. The line's flipping. I'm going to back the Seattle boys on the ML today in the CBI championship. Hmm. It's an interesting one. I don't hate that. I don't hate that at all. Could be in. Sure. Take me to the ice. What do we like about Ottawa? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's two games on the ice today. One of them is a really, really great game, and the uh, the Lightning and Bruins that, to be honest, I don't know what to do with. And it's also a pick 'em. So short slate, toss up matchup. One of the handful of teams that I kind of just don't overthink it and go for the dog and high variance games. It's between the Sens, you know, the Kraken, the I guess the Flames sometimes, the Caps, all these teams that are involved. The Sens are involved in this one, and it's not just for the fact that that's the case but i kind of like them in this game too the, the sabers usually they're a team that gets a lot of line respect at home and i know the sends are not on like the craziest slide either but the sabers have been playing pretty well uh i think the line is a little short plus uh this is a matchup that did did recently just happen came away with the sabers win uh, ever so slightly but they're also coming home off of a really long road trip which has been one of the more profitable spots to fade in the nhl really for the last couple of years but especially the last two including this one uh, so the Sens are coming back. This is going to be a weird game, too. Like, UPL is so hit or miss in net, and he's been definitely more hit than miss as the Sabres have been surging a little bit for the playoffs in the last couple of weeks here. It's just one of those games that I think the Sens get up for. They can take the Sabres up and down the ice, skate with pace, make them a little uncomfortable. So uh, I was definitely expecting a little more respect here for the Sabres. So, like, they're always fake sharp at home against these really, really good teams. So, like, They've been in spots where they're super short underdogs or even like slight favorites when they shouldn't be. And now I think it's weird to see the Sens on the road getting as much respect as they are. So I'm taking them today for a couple of reasons. That's one. All right. Only a couple of hockey plays today. That does not matter. Javon found a winner for the squad. Ottawa ML. Love it. I got a little two-piece parlay, a little basketball parlay. You want to hear about it? Sure. Sure. Seton Hall on the ML, moving up from, I believe, minus six and a half to minus eight and a half is what I'm seeing right now. Sorry, minus three and a half to minus six is what we're getting there on that crazy line movement. Good good look for Seton Hall, in my opinion, against a UNLV team playing really good down the stretch. We know what the Rebels do. They play defense. They play great in the first 10 minutes of the game, and then they kind of slowly fade, but they've been able to hold on to games um, in this NIT tournament down the stretch playing really well. They even got their first postseason win in over 20 years in the NIT, so this tournament is very important for this Rebels team, I will say. And they've got young guys like Dean Thomas who are out there still trying to play great. I'll be honest with you, though, this line movement's enough for me to fade this UNLV squad. I'll tell you what, Seton Hall, looking at their squad, they're playing great right now, too. They're dominating, destroying every squad they play. 
They look like the one seed in the NIT. They look like a team that should have been in March Madness, and they're playing like it. They're playing out of their minds. And this team is playing like a squad that wants to prove to everybody that they belonged in the March Madness tourney and not in the NIT. Okay, they're not done yet. They're playing out of their minds. They've got way too many guards, in my opinion, for this UNLV team to cover. I know their defense is pretty solid. They have a good defense on the interior, but Jaden Bet uh, Betiaka should be able to do enough, uh, at least to be competitive against Whaley and Co. down there. Um, and they've got three insane guards in Richmond, Dre Davis, and, and Dawes, who are going to be uncoverable for this UNLV, uh, you know, these, these UNLV guards. How are they going to keep up with all three of those guys? I don't know. Seton Hall's playing out of their fucking minds. That's probably why they're catching the steam. It's UNLV's time to lose. I hate to say it. I would love to keep back in this team. They've been a great story in the postseason, but party's over. All right. Seton Hall, dominance, looking great. Best team in the NIT. They're playing like it, catching steam. They win this game. Back them on the ML. And we're going to go ahead and parlay them with the Clippers on the ML, coming off a couple losses on the roads, laying five and a half. And I see you like that play as well. So W's. I'm going to go ahead and take a little shortcut, do a little two-piece ML parlay at minus 105. But Javon's got the spread. He's not afraid of those points. Yeah, I'm going to take the spread, which is it's getting a little bit of steam for, for better or for worse. We'll see if it's news-related, but I don't really think so because it's not up that fat. But mm -hmm. this is a, a revenge game, obviously, for a couple different reasons. First, you have what happened, I think, a, a little under a week ago. They played in Los Angeles, and – the Sixers came out and they looked like the greatest team of all time. They shot like 50% nearly from three. That includes, you know, five for 10 on like 23 points for campaign coming off the bench. So nearly to say, or not crazy to say that's probably not sustainable and going to happen again. But you also do have the hard return to Philly in this game. So like as, as square as that may be to use that angle for the game and or Harden props today, finding Harden motivation spots is not very difficult. And I've done it quite a few times, backing him off of a bad game or in a matchup where you kind of think he's going to try a little bit harder. So uh, they're going to throw a lot of pressure at Kawhi. That's kind of how they play defense. So Harden's just going to go one-on-one -on -one against a lot of that team. And I think that works for them. So uh, I think he has a, a really big game, not crazy to say, but I do think they get their a little vengeance for getting blown out on their home floor a couple days ago by the same team who, like, I, I don't think they're going to go out there and, and shoot 50% from three again. The entire starting lineup had a three in that game, including Mo Bamba. And then obviously you have the, the campaign legacy performance off the bench. I think it's going to be a little different today, which is why the line is where it is and moving the Clippers way. Hmm. <laughs> I'm in. Love the sell job. Clippers, maybe there's some injury stuff. Hopefully not. Hopefully they're just catching steam, right? Uh, because I'm laying five and a half in that spot is a good sign for us on that spread. W sell job. I agree with I will here. Um, Javon will be back. He's okay. Um, Westbrook, second game back. And Ty Luce said the Clippers identity is they're soft. Wow. Wow. Two words. Wow. Um, let's keep moving to Graven here. I'm going to talk about the Bulls because they're disgusting. Um, plus two and a half on Chicago today on the spreads. I'm loving this bet. I'm loving this bet. Look, guys, it's not for the faint of hearts. They're playing the Pacers, who are a much better team. But why is this Bulls squad only getting two and a half points? I'm looking at the injury reports. I'm not seeing shit about any of the stars on the Pacers being out in this contest. I'm not really sure why the heck the Bulls are barely getting any points. And neither of these teams are coming off the back-to-backs. The Bulls have even lost their last three games and not even covered them. and hasn't even been close back. W's. Um, talking about the Bulls yeah. on the spread. And why they're so short right now, Javon. I don't get it. The Bulls have beaten the Pacers two of the last three times they have played them, right? But the Pacers have won and covered three of their last four games, including a nice outright win at the Clippers, where they destroyed them as dogs outright in their last contest. The Bulls, like I said, they've lost three straight games in a row. They just lost to the Wizards as minus 13 favorites, Javon. Anytime you lose to the Wizards, it's got to be a little bit of a reality check here, right? These guys got to look themselves in a mirror and say, hey, what the fuck are we doing? All right. Take the bowls, take the spread, grab the couple points. We might need them. You never know. That spread is hilariously short against the Pacers. Yeah, that is easily the most suspicious looking line I would say on the slate today. So I will gladly get involved with the bowls with you there. Okay, let's go. Good. Take me to the Nets. Another nasty play. Yeah, I mean, not really, because, I mean, it's a play against the Wizards, who, I mean, they've looked great the last couple of games. They're they're won three in a row. So if they win today and somehow upset the Nets, that's a 
crazy winning streak for the Wizards and the Jen who's coming in here <laughs> sweating their underwin total every every day might be in a little bit of piss sweating that at the end. But yeah, I, this is a play like the Clippers or not the Clippers, the the Wizards. We all know what their physical makeup is like. They're very perimeter based, pretty soft on the inside, even with Rashawn Holmes in there now instead of playing like the consistent like stretch five with Kuzma down there uh, and the. Nets are quite the opposite. Like they're going to make you funnel to the rim. They're going to be very different. They're going to be super physical. And I think that's a big matchup problem for, you know, the Wizards in this game. And I definitely want to fade and say, you know, there's probably no way the Wizards went four in a row. Call it simple. Call it what you want. But I, I think against a physical team, that's probably not the spot for uh, the Wizards to get that done. So I think they're going to struggle a little bit here trying to generate, you know, consistent offense against this Nets team. I think it'll be tough. We get the Jen dropping at five. You sub well for the people. It's good to Jen. Sure, he probably probably likes the he was spawned at the uh, the Nets mention, hoping the Wizards drop a game. I mean, I'm with you. I wanted to ask you about that game. I almost put that bet on my uh, sharp report myself. I mean, it's pretty crazy seeing them as a favorite on the road in Washington. I guess with the Wizards coming off of three wins, but. Uh-huh. Still the Wizards, right? Yeah, you can't really Still make them a probably favorite. the worst team in the NBA. So yeah, um, for what it's worth, I mean, last time they did play, they were plus six, also in Washington and one outright. So I don't, I don't really know what else you're going to put them at. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know either. I don't know. I thought that was some respect for the Nets, though. With the Wizards yeah. on the still win streak at home, maybe a little bit, maybe, maybe a little bit. All right, people in chat are asking about the Lakers. A lot of Lakers uh, fading love today. A lot of people want to fade the Lakers. I'm with you guys on Memphis, right? My only issue, all right, I would not be shocked because that spread has come down, and nobody knows why. LeBron sat out last night. He's probably going to play tonight, right? It's got to be AD. AD's got to be sitting out tonight. they got to be resting him on the second game of the back-to-back. It probably has not come out yet to the public. But the fact that that spread has come down a little bit, it's the only thing I can think of. So until I hear any sort of AD injury reports or maybe they're resting him before the game, I don't know. I'm going to sit back and wait because there's no fucking way that spread is moving without AD sitting out the second game of back-to-back. It's possible, but I mean, it would be kind of funny if this was the story, but last night all I saw was propaganda about how AD, like his goal was to play 82 games this season. And uh, like all the tweets are coming about, it's like you were laughing then, he's been – played X amount of the last crazy games or whatever it is. So like he, uh, he talked about it in like his post game interview too. So if you were to sit today, that would be very funny looking at, you know, how he just talked about it. Well, if he plays today and the spread is that short, I will definitely be on Memphis after the Lakers and Austin Reeves had that insane game. Reeves had a triple double insane. He bought yes. Half the fate. But if AD's out, if he's resting, or if LeBron's resting again, or some shit, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be taking that one off. Okay, be setting that one off. Crabs, you ready for the Red Rob special? Yes. Steph Curry more than two and a half turnovers. Like I said yesterday, didn't hit. We get the same line on a back to back versus the Magic. Curry has cleared that last seven out of ten versus them. Javon, thoughts on Steph Curry? Steph Curry turning the ball over tonight. I mean. I can't say I have anything against it. It's just I I hate – I mean, we can just go straight to the squares. I hate fading Curry off of playing the Heat and selling everybody yesterday, which I guess selling everybody could just be Trent because I don't know who the hell took Steph Curry overs against the Heat. That was a terrible idea. (laughs) But, yeah, he was was not good yesterday, and that's a product of how the Heat play defense. Not to say the Magic are terribly different, but – He's going to get some shots up, dude. That scares me. Hmm. Well, that scares me too because I'm fading him on that fucking PP specials combo. Yeah. I think, I feel like you did that once before and ended in piss. He faded him in yeah. one of those combos after terrible. a terrible game. It did terribly. Yep. People reminded me in chat as soon as we fired this puppy up. Yeah. And you he know. just sold Trent for, I don't even know the amount, but a lot last night in his goblin. Hmm. Well, you know what? I'm bullying him. I don't give a fuck. Bully ball, right, chat? I'm taking it. Combos like that, they don't pay the bills. The more than stop. If you take the less thans on squares like that every time, 
overall, at the end of the day, you will be up coins. I'm standing on it. Not giving up. Bully ball chat. Two words. Bully. Okay. Steph Curry, Pasternak, they're not doing shit. I looked at what Pasternak's been doing. I think he had four SAGs the last game. The one before that, he had one. Maybe he'll take this game off like he did the other game. I don't know. I don't care. All I know is that they're putting these fucking two goats together, and they can't keep getting away with it. If they do, prize picks might have to shut down. Yeah, I won't, I won't support this one, Craps. I think it's on Wow. Okay. Pasta against what? the Lightning, too. I mean, that's a that's a big rivalry game, Crabs. Bruins slip. bolts. Bruins bolts. I, I I might have a slip. I'm not gonna lie to slip. you. Slip. I just might. Turn the crab sign on for good luck. It's on, brother. It's on. It's just not as bright but these other lights I got going on. So lightning boost to win. Yeah, I like the I like the Bruins to win this game, which probably doesn't make do any too. fucking sense as to why I'm taking David Poster not, but yeah, good. Uh, less than. I mean, if if they're if they're losing, I mean, yeah, that's a more positive game script for SOGs. But he's, yeah. I mean, it's pasta. He's probably going to rip whatever the game script is. Mm. My prediction: they both end with four. I feel like that's reasonable. Crabs, you will know if this is over very fast. Good, good. I like that. Javon, rumor has it there's some MLB combos up for tomorrow, <laughs> huh? People are talking. Yeah. Yeah, took us a little look at those. I texted it to, or I guess you were in that too. You and Trent, you could have eight super goats in one four man slip. What? Insane. What? Dude, let's take a peep over at those puppies. Total bases and pitcher strikeouts under the PP specials. Shouldn't have to go too far from where you're at right now, brother. There it goes. See ya. Eight goats, four square. Crazy. I mean, one of these one of these will hit. Three of them will probably lose, right? Is there one of these that you have zero interest in fading at all? Um, hmm. Hmm. I don't know that there's one that I, just, I don't want to fade, but I don't want to take either. Mm. I haven't looked at these yet too much other than just screenshotting them and sending them. Okay. Yeah, I mean, these are fucking crazy, right? I think the one that I want to fade the most is probably the one that's the lowest and looks the freest for people to take the more than. It's the MVP Seeks and Justin Steele. But that's just me. And I don't even know if I want to fade a friend of the program in Justin Steele. So, TBD, all right? Just want to put these on notice for you guys. Some nasty combo squares up on the board for tomorrow's MLB slate. They're already up, primed, ready to go. Hmm. I believe there's also MLB squares up for the games tomorrow just normally as well. So, yeah, looking at Josiah Gray as we speak, five and a half strikeouts. Sure, there you go. It's probably air. But yeah, I'll tell you what else is air if they put it up. It's walk square. Yeah, that's up there. That's yeah. up there. Yeah. I mean, also, day nerves. Right, his first day, his first time being the opening day starter. That sounds like three Josiah Gray walks to me. Right, Ellie, Ellie walking stolen base in the first. If you're looking to bet O squares, they might not come up because this game's probably gonna rain out. No, did you? seriously. Yeah. Did you? Weren't you about to go too? Yeah. Um, I might go on Friday if it's rained out too, but we'll see. Mm. Okay. Yeah. All depends. Well, that stinks. Yeah. Uh, I bet. All right. I mean, there's nothing worse than being out there in 45 degrees when it's fucking pouring down rain. Yeah. But it is opening oh. day. It is opening right. day. Shit. All right. Well, let's hope the baseball gods can maybe hold off that rain for a little bit. We need opening day. Full force Hopefully. tomorrow. All right. Hopefully. None of this half ass bullshit, right? None of this two game or one game at six AM bullshit. We need a full slate of action. Okay. Need it like air. Dubs. Let's finish up this prize picks uh sharp report. We got to go over these last couple squares. I'm fading Gabe Madsen today. It is what it is. Not happy about it. Um, and no Hobie, we do not get to fade Patrick Corbin tomorrow. We get to fade him um on Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. Okay. Um, he's going up against Hunter Green on Saturday in Cincy. So that should go well. That game might have a hundred runs straight up. We got PP Gurus coming in, giving out a sub. Let's go, PP Gurus. Sure we can. Love that. Z Brown Lee as well coming in resubbing. 23 months, almost two years. Let's go. Love that. All right. W's in chat for the sub banks. All right. Vibes are up. We're hitting a squad ride today. I can fucking tell. I can feel it in my nats. All right, chat. Uh, Gabe Madsen had an insane game against Iowa in that last contest. 31 piece. Hold the fry. He 
He's at 14 and a half points today. Um, typically, he's around the 13 and a half mark. That's what he averages on the season. He's going up against a VCU team that I'll tell you what, it's, they're not going to let him shoot 14 times from behind the arc <clears throat> like he was able to do in that last contest where he dropped a 31 piece. He went seven for 14 from deep. VCU's perimeter defense is like that. They might not win this game with that fat spread, but they're surely going to play defense. And I like that under in that game. So I'm going to fade their best player, Gabe Madsen, after a career high. Fade him. All right, take the less than 14 and a half points against that VCU perimeter defense. I would be shocked if he hits more than two threes in this game. I'd be shocked. Yeah, it's a pretty tough matchup for anybody in Utah, especially a shooter like Madsen. So I don't hate that fade. Could be I on wanted that. to take VCU on the spreads, but that number, I already thought it was kind of fat. VCU gets a lot of respect a lot of the time, Javon. None in this spot, and it's moved even fatter. Maybe Utah is just getting mad respect because they're looking great right now. They're looking like a tournament team that they were supposed to be in the beginning of the season. I don't know. What are your thoughts on that spread real quick before we move? I mean, Utah's like the greatest team of all time at home, so I wasn't too shocked to see it, 14-2 and two on the season. But are these games still at home in the quarters? In the quarters, or the yeah. semis? Sorry, the or, semis? These are semis. This is, oh, I thought it was the quarters. These are semis, folks. No, I think it's still I think it's still at home. I think they do the championship now, right? It's only the championship, not the semis. Mm. It looks like this game is at yeah, it is in Salt Lake. Hence why that spread is a megalodon. Yeah. So I mean they're literally the greatest team of all time at home. Damn, I thought these were fucking neutral courts. I'm a bozo. Yeah, dude. I swear to God, they used to do fucking neutral no, courts for the. They used to do an MSG game. for the the semis in Holland. Okay, you know Mahoney's on Deaton Thomas, his guy, of absolute fucking beast, absolute beast. Only neutral game today. High point Seattle, sure, and we already talked about that puppy. It's got to be Seattle, okay? Javon, thoughts on Gabe Matson before we move? Yeah, I'm down with that fade, hundred percent. VCU's Good. defense is going to make them hell. I hope so, man. I might have to take them on the spread. Yeah. PP Guru is coming in with 24 bits. Let's go, my man. W is love to see that. Okay. DJ Fitz says F Seattle. Damn, DJ Fitz. You're not liking them today, huh? GG Fitz. Huh. All right. Let's move. Let's groove on other squares. We have Goots. I already went over my combo. Javon, I think he's got two as well. Let's go ahead and see what he's got on the prize picks board. Yeah, first one is definitely a little nastier than the second one. Dylan Brooks, one and a half threes against the Thunder. Who, Thunder, big win uh, off of back to back now after beating the Pelicans, and they're steadily becoming a, a worse and worse catch and shoot three point defense. So like guys like Dylan Brooks, Jabari Smith was also up on the board, but it's not anymore because it was just the under. I was probably going to go with that too, but uh, I think the Rockets find a lot of success from the three-point line today, and this is certainly a weird square that I keep my eye on pretty much any time it pops up on the board. I'll take my chances. And the one thing like you, you kind of want with Dylan Brooks is a matchup where you're going to see a little bit of volume, and you're not going to see him taking one three at halftime, and you're sitting there wondering when it's going to pop up. Uh, but against two games they had a little back-to-back -back series against okc a little month ago uh he shot 11 threes in those two games went over one time under the other time he's also coming off of an 0 for 8 game that's that last little red bar against portland so uh, i love seeing the one and a half up and starting to get juicier after a guy shoots literal tour dates against one of the worst teams in the league so they're they're gonna spray today the rockets are and dylan brooks is hitting two and then the other one is a little less nasty. It's probably one of the plays you're going to see. Maybe not the threes, but you're going to see this guy's name on, on Twitter a lot today, and I already have Desmond Bain mm. today. Frog's legend. But Your guy. Yeah. I mean, this one kind of goes without saying. Uh, like, uh, I'm taking him for the same reason a lot of people are taking him. It's the Lakers off of their Super Bowl. Like, sure, yeah, we want to fade, but it's also like the Lakers are one of – Maybe the two or three teams that if there's a square on the board that makes a lot of sense and they're going to torch them on the perimeter, I'm going to take it, especially for a high usage guy in that offense when everybody knows how depleted that lineup is. Uh, so he's going to do literally whatever he wants from all areas of the court, but especially the three point line. That's the part of it that I'm kind of inching away from the rest of the people on Twitter taking it because they're just on his points, which I don't know if they're up on prize picks anyway. Um, but I think he this is one of those games where he spawns in with a couple threes off rip, just like every main perimeter option does against the Lakers. So that's my uh, that's my page in Curry today. Dylan Brooks and Desmond Bain. 
All right, Desmond Bain, a corp friend. That ain't no problem today. You're not getting scared off. You're laying it. Yeah. Good. Desmond Bain to bang three or more threes. All right, chats. We're not wavering. John Birdie bang. Yeah, why are you guys so fucking stoked that John Birdie's going to the Yanks? Yeah, John Birdie's crazy. freaking out. They're going nuts in chat for John Birdie getting signed. They're going nuts. Who gives a hoot, chats? Yeah. Who gives a hoot? This isn't moving any needles. John Birdie on MVP watch now. It's ain't moving sure. any needles, chats. Come on. Sure. All right. W Sharp reports, Chad, take a little screenshot of this puppy. All right, we will post this on the Book It BTL Twitter after the show. But if you want to lock in these puppies early, here they are. All right, feast your eyes. Do not be scared. We've got plenty of plays, plenty of winners for this Wednesday slate. All right? W's, Javon, it's about that time, brother. We know everyone's excited. We have an hour, 50 minutes-ish left, okay? Plenty of time to craft up the BTL MLB season Megalodon for the 2024 season. I know everyone's fucking lit up, all right? We smacked this one last year. Yeah. I believe. We smacked we something. This was the BTL one. We smacked something. Chat, feast your eyes, six piece. Hold the fry. All right, we smacked this puppy last year. Um, if you put $100 on it, you won $2,500. If you put $200 on it, you won five k Unbelievable. Okay, we'll let the results speak for themselves here. Unbelievable work. Chat, let's hope we can come close to this. All right, these don't grow on trees, six bases for a season long. But I have a feeling we have a chance. All right, and you can't win if you don't bet. You can't win if you don't play. We're going to give it our best shots to run this puppy back, Javon. Why not us? Why not? Why not us? All right? Chat, people forget that. We smacked that six guys. I think we had another entry as well, a spaces entry. Yeah. I mean, this one... Depending on what we got with Shohei, was actually sick. Would have loved yeah. if Luis Garcia played because he was starting to look like Cy Young last couple starts. But Tommy John, unfortunately, but yeah, surgical entry. Daniel Bard, that's that's seriously in conversations for best square of all time. Yeah, Circa Hall of Fame called the other day. They said we might need to get you in there for that yeah. square. Yeah, straight up. Um, I actually took this entry with Shohei less than three point one four ERA. Um, or 3.13, wherever it got bumped down to. So I lost this entry because I'm a Boza. Um, still lose sleep over that. Because Javon's over here throwing a rack to win 10K on this puppy. Free. Air. There. All right? Chat, we smacked both these puppies last year. People forget. All right, we got a follow coming in. Never dat too. Sure. Love that. Thanks for the follow, Beast. What else did we have last year? I think I had my own guys, remember? Yep. This one, it came down to Patrick Corbin. Costing me twelve thousand dollars. People forget. Um, get that off my screen. Get that off my screen now. Thank you, W Gibbs. Good work. I cannot look at that any longer. I'm gonna freak out. Why did I put Corbin in that shit? Why did I put Corbin in that shit? Who let me do that? Corbin, man. What kind of friend are you, Javon? Huh? It's only so much I could do, Krabs. People forget about that slip. People do forget. People forget about I don't, that I, don't, I, don't, I really, I don't know. People forget. It's probably... Pull that shit back up, Gibbs. I don't know why you're taking that away. Put that back up. <laughs> Put that shit back up there. Look at that thing. <sighs> Look at those other squares. Daniel Barrett. Bless his heart. We'll leave it at that. I could go on for hours. I won't. Okay, we'll let him be. Aaron Judge, free. Anyone who took Aaron Judge more than home runs last year, you're a bozo. You're a shit better. I'm better than you. Patrick Corbin, not going to talk about it. Trey Turner, free. Cal Quantrell, free. Miguel Cabrera, bless his heart, Hall of Famer. He wasn't hitting six nukes. Are you guys smoking crack? Have you seen Miguel Cabrera swing a bat the last five years? Come on. Not going to lie, that one got a little bit sweaty. That one got a little bit sweaty. Not going to lie to you. Um, I think he ended up with four or some shit. Oh, yeah, I know, Goots. Thanks. Um, yep, he had a nine-piece. That was against the Astros, I believe. Scroll to the left there. I remember that one clear as day. Was that against the Astros? Oh, Seattle. I forgot he had two. Nice. Nice. Um, goodness gracious, man. Did he have another nine piece? I feel like he I'm had... I'm making that up. I thought he had one more. Eight. Eight piece. Was that against the... Okay, that was against That was Ted. the Pirates one. I might be making shit up. And then what was, either way. What was the Mariners one? Tables. At the end of the season? It was Mariners. 
I could have sworn there he had is. eight or nine against the Astros, but I could be making that up. I feel like he had like a crazy start against the Astros and had nothing for like the end of his like a couple innings in the outings. Yeah, B Joe, and if I was eight feet tall, I could dunk. Yeah, I mean that's that's literally part of the cap. Man. Especially for a guy like Judge. Hmm. All right, let's move. Let's groove. Enough of that fucking entry, but wanted to go through that puppy real quick. W is part of betting. Yep, is what it is. Is what it is. Okay. Those are those entries are in the past, Javon. Look, they were unbelievable. All right. People are still talking about them. I'm gonna tell my grandkids about those things. But those are in the past. All right. We have to move on. We have entries to craft up for this season. And we don't have much time. Javon, are there any squares? that you are absolutely obsessed with for this upcoming season that you feel like have to be in the BTL season long, Mac? Well, the one that is, it's not my main entry, which I guess this is kind of what that's for that I really, really like is that Anthony Volpe multi-home run game square. You know I'm in. Yeah, no, you know you're I'm in for in. that. Yeah, he hasn't done it, obviously, in, in his rookie season he didn't do it, but – uh, I think as much as we hate the Yankees, I think he's going to have a really good season, especially if he ends okay. up making his way up in that lineup. I think we're going to see a little bit of a power surge from him. He's been working on a swing path really the entire season or off season. He looks a lot more comfortable in the spring. And the most important part is he's hitting the ball to all fields. So we all know if you're playing in Yankee Stadium, you don't exactly need the ball to be hit 450 if you're sending it the opposite way as a righty to get it out. It's like I think we're going to see – him be a little streaky in the season, which is why I don't love like just taking the home runs or the hits. But I think we're going to see a two home run game for Volpe. Sign me up, Gates. Put that shit in there, brother. Anthony Volpe more than a half multi home run game. I'm in. Sign me up, Anthony Volpe. He will be the leadoff hitter for this team once DJ LeMahieu loses his job. Bless his heart. The well, machine. He's hurt. He's hurt now. So he might honestly be, he might be right off very, the rip. very soon. Yeah. I don't know what they're going to do with that lineup. Might be right off the rip. Yep. All right. We'll see. Either way, Volpe's smashing two in one game. I'm in. All right. Javon, what else we need? You want to, you want me to throw one out there? Sure. Jack Flaherty. Ooh. Have you come yeah, around I figured, officially I to Jack Flaherty yet? I have just because. I mean, it, we're we're this is about to, for him to stay healthy. That's all it is. He's like, he, if he's even relatively healthy, he is. This is not even going to be close. Not even going to be close. He's going to soar over this. Have we seen any movement on this? I don't think you so. Probably don't but have eyes on that. It's okay. Well, it's also because he was like the bottom of the strikeout board with all the lower totals. Is also what came out like last. It's like they were on the board for easily the shortest. Chat, we will talk about Abrams after this. Don't worry, okay? We will talk about Abrams after this. For now, we have to talk about Flaherty. Let me give you guys my little pitch, all right? I was watching Jack Flaherty pitch the other day, one of his last outings of the spring. And by the way, he's looked great this entire spring, knock on woods, all right? Big season coming up for Jack Flaherty. Big year. A lot of expectations, a lot of pressure. If he doesn't have a healthy season and a solid year, it's probably GG's for Jack Flaherty, right? He's running out of time to prove himself in this league. The guy just can't stay healthy, plain and simple. Um, if he pitches 120 innings this year, he hits this number. It's that easy. Like Javon said, we are literally betting on this guy to stay healthy. It's tough. I personally want to do it. I want to buy low. I want to take a risk. I want to take a stab at Jack Flaherty because if he does stay healthy, this will be the freest square on earth. Straight up. Yeah. The freest square on earth. Okay. I'm buying into Jack Flaherty. All right. And I've heard a lot of other uh, aspects of this bet as well that I've liked. Their new catcher, very good at framing. That's a big upgrade. I heard the pitching coach talking about that during their game and during his outing. His velocity is up. His accuracy has been great so far in the spring. His strikeout stuff, his strikeout numbers have been significantly higher um, this year on Detroit going into the fucking season. He looks unbelievable. He looks great. He's filling up the zone. He's healthy. He's got high VLA. He's got a good catcher. I'm in on Jack Flaherty this season. I think this kid balls, and if he throws 120 innings, this is going to be the easy, easiest square on earth. Yeah, it will be 100. percent so, I mean, it, the I mean, the truth is, like looking at the number, obviously, it, it's not a bet on him to stay healthy for the entirety of the season. We can at least say that. It's the reason why this number is so low in the first place because he hasn't been able to do it. So, yeah, he's going to miss some games. Every, he's going to miss some games. 
Yeah, right? it's, it's Jack Flaherty. He's not going to stay completely healthy. But with this number, we have a good bit of flexibility, which is fine. Are and you in on did. Jack Flaherty? Yeah, and I don't think he has a new, like, repertoire necessarily, but he's been working. I mean, the velocity is significantly up, so we'll see how long that lasts. It's looked great in spring. Fastballs look great. He's not walking nearly as many guys. The walk the walk buried is down quite a bit in the spring. We'll see how it lasts, too, but I'm excited to watch Flaherty. Actually, hold on. We'll get to that in a sec. Javon, <laughs> are you in? on Jack Flaherty to go in the BTL season long neck. I'm in on that. All right. Goats, do your job. Put him in that puppy. Could be the difference. And you know. Good. He's got it on um, He's in there. Yeah. He's in there. All right, good. Yeah. Kyle Gibson, less than half 10 plus K games. We talked about this on the spaces last night. You know, Kyle Gibson, I saw a bunch of highlights of him striking out 100 people the other day. Has he been nails in the spring? Has he been changing something up? I've been seeing these pitching ninja videos of Kyle Gibson looking like he's fucking a rolled as Chapman right now. Yeah, Is he's it just not me? Bad. Am I the only one getting these fucking videos on my algorithm? What's going on here? Yeah, I mean, he's been, he's been <laughs> like really <laughs> good. He's been really good, dude. Fuck. This square is literally Patrick Corbin. 10 plus strikeout games from no. last year. This is not Patrick Corbin. Because like Gibson, seven K's and five yesterday. Gibson's actually done it. Yeah, I yeah, I saw you actually he had nine. He yesterday. had nine K's. Nine yeah. K's. He had nine. And he had like last year he had two games with eleven strikeouts. So it's not like Corbin where like nobody's ever done it. It's like I'm I'm pretty scared to fade Kyle Gibson. I mean, that's, that's nasty right there. That is filthy. Wow. That's a force. All right. I've heard enough chat. I've heard enough. That's a yeah, force. This, this too, like, especially with Sonny Gray injured to start the season, like they're going to be innings eaters. It's like, they're going to mm -hmm. keep him in for a while. Is it weird oh, that that's the only square up for him now? Yeah. Like I, I think it's one of the weirdest squares ever dudes. I think it's weird, but maybe that's I just mean, me. He's, he's an O's legend. So I wouldn't mind it. I mean, I know that they're not playing the division as much this year, but that's probably the division that I most do not want to fade any strikeouts against. Like the Reds strike out a ton, the Pirates strike out a ton. You see what he just did to the Cubs, and they strike out a ton. That's just like that's scary. I mean, the Brewers didn't even mention them because I don't know what they're going to be this season, but they also strike out a ton. A lot of good recommendation recommendations in chats. All right, as we get a B Clem resub, love to see that WB Clem W Vibes. Okay, well you know. You know what's what's looking at me funny from what we heard yesterday? Because I guess mm. what last season I'm pretty sure Jordan under from Pete was in our BTL Meg, right? That Matt yes. Olson under from from mid major Matt is is ringing in my ears. I mean that shit's hitting. That shit is hitting. That's that's the gross one that we might have to put in there after a a career year. Uh, he's one of the guys who are like. You don't want to take spring training like too much, put it too much in the forefront of your head. But what we've seen from him like so far this year is a little alarming, and it's it's definitely selling really high on a guy who just had an insane season too, and he's not a guy who misses many games or hasn't in like the last couple of years. Right. That might be that might be it right there, Krabs. Now I am more than down to take this in something. Do I want to take this in the BTL Meg when it's mid major Matt Square? That's when I'm a little bit sketched. But um, we don't have like a space entry this year. It's like I feel like it's it's just like tip your cap, pay homage to Matt because that was a great play, just like Jordan with Pete. Hmm. Chad, what do you guys think? If we take other people's squares that they pitched in that spaces yesterday and shout them out, do you guys want that or do you want it to just be? Squares from our brains. What do you guys want? We have heard a couple of good ones, like uh, Fat Girls Inks. Um, say yes, Suzuki, was, was, was also pretty solid one. as well. Yeah, yeah, you guys don't give a hoot, do you? Yeah, we just we just Both. need a green slip. That's what we need. Green is green. Whatever's green. Okay. All right. Um, hmm. I mean, it's hitting. Yeah, I mean the Olsen it's square and the Seiya square were both fantastic, and yeah, the Olsen number is is low. 
I don't know how much higher you can put them necessarily, but I mean, after a record setting season, I think there will be plenty of value on fading some Braves, not named Michael Harris. Hmm. All right, let's put him in there. Less than 42 and a half home runs. Yeah. <clears throat> after a 53 piece, I believe last year. I think yeah, 53, 54, piece. somewhere. Yeah, something like that. 53. <clears throat> sure. I'm on say yeah, dude is raking. I know. Yeah, I really like that say yeah pitch from uh from Fat Girls. Yeah. Good. Uh, he's gone. Say it again. I didn't know if you had something to say. You popped up here. No, 54 home runs. Okay, sure. 54. Good. Yep. Okay. Um season long baseball picks. Who cares? I'm not letting my money sit in the book account for five months. All right, well, you should probably go watch somewhere else, brother. Why are you? How come I can't see be season long on my prize picks? I don't know, season. I don't know, season. Hit the old refresh button. Will you, brother? Hit the old refresh. Max Freed's. Now I wouldn't mind back in Max Freed. The deal. His less than ERA potentially. Do you want to double up on Braves though? Even no, though not necessarily. They're not for the same thing. Not necessarily. I'm okay with keeping him out. Hmm. Just talking through the chat. What do we yeah, have so yeah, far right yeah. now? We got three in that puppy, huh? Yeah, we do have three. Volpe, Flaherty, Olsen. I'm surprised I haven't heard that out of your mouth yet. Well, we could talk about it. We could talk about some mats. Lane Thomas. A couple of mat squares that are hitting. You know, there's um, Lane Thomas under home runs, which I don't really see why we don't just put that in there right now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there is CJ Abrams steals. There's CJ Abrams less, or sorry, more than half a multi home run game. There's Mackenzie Gore strikeouts. There's Mackenzie Gore more than, you know, 10 plus strikeout games. There's a lot. There's a lot. Um, are you leaning towards any of these guys, Rins? I mean, twist my arm on a lot of them. I don't, I don't love Mackenzie Gore, I guess, because, I mean, you've talked about it. Strikeout angle is kind of tough. Not a strikeout pitcher necessarily, uh, and they're going to need some serious innings out of him. So we'll see how his approach is, but I wouldn't be against backing C.J. Abrams or fading Lane Thomas at all. Hmm. Is Corbin 10Ks on the board by chance? No, Dig Dad is not. Appreciate the question there, brother. <laughs> Appreciate that. As a Nats fan, I'm worried about Abrams regression. Yeah, so am I, Joel. So am I. I don't see how he doesn't get 40 steals there, brother. I know everybody loves him this year. I'm with you. My gut's telling me you put we put in lane fade and we go about our day. That's a green okay. screen. Let's do it. I'm in. What could go wrong, right? Yep. Just had a kid, too, so he's got dad strength. Sure. Fade dad strength, strength man. Too. Fading so dad strength. Games. We're fading dad strength. Dude, the dad strength. That that might make me a little hesitant. I mean, it's turning green. He's not hitting 20 home runs. Bless his heart. Okay. okay. I'm in. He's not hitting 20 pace. I'm in. I hope I'm wrong. But this looks exactly like the Manessa square that I got asked to put up last year that was way too high, and he had five home runs. So, lefty merchant, I know, chat, I know. And Lane just hit his third home run on Father's Day. I bet, Alan. I'll probably be there with my pops as well. I'm um, watching Lane Thomas just hit four home runs in the same game. Four picks. <sighs> Unbelievable. What if he gets traded? I mean, we have not been able to find a fucking trade partner for Lane Thomas the last two seasons. He's not getting traded. Yeah, I mean, if they're going to trade him and – I feel like it was going to be last season. So if they didn't, I feel like they're pretty set on holding on to him. Yep. Crabs, we need gel off over home over homers. Gel off bonds. I know we were looking at that gel off bonds more than 19 and a half home runs. Is there any legitimacy to that one? Uh, I mean, there is. It's just like he's – it's a tough one because he's such a boomer bust guy, a lot of swing and miss, and it seems to have kind of gotten worse throughout like the end of last year and early in the spring, I guess you could say too. So like, I like it. I would love to root for get off. It's just, he's probably going to go into a cold stretch this season, which is not great. Love this though. Absolutely love this. Flair yeah. a little bit higher on the books. Whoa. Good. Good. 
Dude, what? Is that a fact? Dude, what is going on with these guys, man? What the fuck? Dude, what? This he's mic, literally giving mic, up. Like air. This is giving up. He's giving up. Literally giving up. There's no way this is real, is it? That's Who's Simon Charles? That's gotta be Cap. Nah, this guy's fake, bro. This is gotta be Cap. Email anatomy. <sighs> What the fuck? Yeah, I uh -uh. should say. Uh-uh. Get that out of here. God, they almost got us, huh, Gates? <laughs> gotta check got the bio us. first, I guess. Fake bang. Always gotta check man. out those guys who are tweeting. That is wild. Literally an NFL fake beat reporter. Good. Anyways, back to business here. Zach got off bounds. He wants UVA crowds. I don't know if that matters to you. All right, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. And silly out. Um, you're putting Zach Allen in yours, right? Yeah, Zach Allen's in mine. Okay. I'll tell you, I have. I'm still on the fence about one square, or I guess one spot for two guys. And I'll tell you which ones which ones they are. It's two home run squares. It's Tristan Casas and Carlos Correa. Those are the two. That I've been going back and forth for the final spot in the go. Do hmm. you have any thoughts on either of those guys? I mean, is Carlos Gray going to be able to stay healthy enough? You would hope so. But I mean, yeah, I think he's going to have a pretty massive bounce back year. I mean, I like both those squares. I probably like the Cassis one a little bit better, but the one thing that worries me about him is who the hell is going to be hidden behind him if they don't make moves. I mean, the lineup is good. It's not like it's bad. He's going to be hitting around Devers and Yoshida. It's not like they can pitch around him. Yeah. I think I, I like Cassis better. I do too, and that's probably going to end up in mine. But that career okay. is staring me in the face, Chris. Hmm. Cassis might hit 40 because Trent to Devers. I bet. <laughs> what about some Marlins players to fade? Yeah. I wouldn't mind fading Lazardos on his ERA. Lazardo. So the problem is Bird knows what's up. Yeah, Dead Third Bird might be tapped. Adley's going off. Sure. Hmm. Nats tomorrow. Please no, Devin. Please no. Um, Best bet of the season, best future for the MLB this year, Nats win total under. It is a nice people, people do forget within the span of 10 seconds, Crabs went from Nats' worst team in the league to might sneak into the playoffs. And that's baseball, folks. And that's baseball. Wouldn't have it any other way. Far from OB Sharp. How does how does who hits behind him affect his home run chances? Well, Stoney, I mean, if there's nobody hitting behind him. Definitely worried about people pitching around these guys, right? So if you have a new shit guy hitting behind someone and he's towards, you know, the middle of the lineup, hitting fifth or sixth, there's nobody hitting seventh or eighth that's really good. You know, why pitch to that guy? Why throw many strikes? Why throw many meat? When you could just pitch around him and get to the next batter. That's that's why. Um, you know, taking some of these guys to be successful when nobody's hitting behind them scares me a little bit. Now, we could bring up the Pete Alonso angle that I cannot get over and I keep bringing well, I figured, it up every day. I figured that was going to be in your personal go well. Yeah, probably. I haven't really locked anything in there yet, though. I wanted to do this. I mean, one we first. could do. I feel like it, it would be smart, too. I mean, we could double down on our favorite squares because I would have no problem doing that. Put double like down. one, our favorite square from our own goat whale into this one. That works perfect. We got four in there, so two more. Was this a six-piece last year? It was a six-piece. Yes. Hmm. I mean, it, hmm. I think you're, you're right in there with Alonso. I love that square. I do, but I'm also a little bit thrown off now because I don't know if I want to get RBIs or home runs now after what we talked about in the spaces. I mean, I yeah. think RBIs, that's it's my opinion. I think it's a solid look. I think that lineup is going to score runs. 
Mets are moose. I know Remy Lau. They're really not, though. It's the thing. Their pitching is kind of moose. And it gets, They're going to uh, be in a lot of high-scoring games. Yeah, I mean, that lineup sure. is good. That lineup is good. Nemo sure. Lindor hitting Jack the bubble. Jack McNeil Platt. Yeah. Oh, well, Jack McNeil is probably going to hit behind the line. Yeah, but, yeah. I mean, Nemo Lindor, Francisco Alvarez is probably going to be up there for some games. They switch up the lineup. Like, so it's not a bad lineup. Like, it's actually pretty talented, especially when you compare it to, like, I mean, it's years better than the other two seller dweller teams in the NL East. Not your playing division as much, but like I think the lineup is just fine. It's a solid lineup. You want to go RBIs? I'm down for that. Got to fade Solaire Bombs and San Fran. I'm good, Nicholas. I'm good on that one, brother. All right. Pete Alonzo, more than 108 and a half RBIs. Could be the move, crabs. Let's put that in there for now. Let's put that in there for now. Dilly Daggers, sub bang, coming in hot eight months. Love to see that. We made it to opening day. Yes, sir. Dilly Daggers, good Yo. seeing you out there in Vegas as well. Yeah. There you go. All right. Sub bang rumors. Love that. Who are we rooting for chat? Let's go, Royals. Sure. <laughs> Royals. We're all a little bit of Royals fans in this uh, BTL chat. Oh, 100%. Just a little bit. 100%. You know? W Aloha, love to see that. We got subs galore. Feel like we have no pitchers. We are married to this year. Yeah, yeah. I mean the Zach Gallon one's a pretty good look. I really like the Jack Flaherty angle. You know, Justin Steele, less than strikeouts was an interesting one from Pete last night. I don't know if I want to fade our guy, friend of the program, but uh, I'll tell you what, Justin Steele's probably not getting 170 strikeouts. Bless yeah. his heart. Tariq Scooball. Right, we saw Phils come in to the spaces yesterday and pitch that. Tariq Scooball, more than 169 and a half strikeouts. That's one that everybody likes, but I'm in on. Like that play. Um, Chiote, honorable glaze. Garcia <laughs> might be a whale. Sure. Michael Garcia. Hmm. Goat. I was at the Found Blue, but I never saw y'all. Really, Dave Martinez. Shit, dude. Well, that place is absolutely electric, and I hope we get invited back because it was awesome. Yeah. We had a time. We had an absolute time. What is the deadline to lock these in? I believe it is whenever the you know first game of the team season starts up. So, um, yeah. you know, for the Nats, it's four ten tomorrow Eastern. For you know the Rangers, it's seven thirty five Eastern against the Cubbies. So, just make sure you lock these puppies in before the team's games start. All right. What about Vladdy? Ooh, I forgot about Vladdy. Can't forget about Vladdy. Because I, I mean, I really like Vladdy, and I will have. Bobby Witt in my goat well, so I didn't want to take two squares that were also in Trent's goat well and double up there. So I would not be yeah. mad at putting Vladdy in this entry. What would you take on Vladdy? I mean, I like the hits, I like the RBIs, both of them. I'm not really married to one of them because he was the most unlucky hitter by a pretty wide margin in the MLB last year. Also, hooked under for Pete's entire goat well to hit on that same hits line, I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. But I mean, another lineup that I think is going to score runs too. It's like they have a couple options. Everybody's like always hyping up the Blue Jays every year. Feels like it's gotten significantly quieter this year because Vladdy was shit last year. It's a big letdown. Like the that whole lineup was super inconsistent. Springer was asked for a long stretch before he got hot for a brief time. Varsho is going to be in there having a solid season. Davis Bonds is going to be in there. Who knows where he's going to be at? Like. I don't want to have two RBI squares in there for throwing Pete, but I like the hits. Mm. Yeah, what's he at right now on the board? He's at 165 and a half. Yes, and this MLB The Show cover curse is not a thing. Literally not a thing. I don't know why we're – who started that or whatever. It's St. Madden. Like Shohei was on it two years ago. Well, we saw Vladdy have 188 and 175 hits in 2021 and 2022. Last year, he took a little bit of a step back, had a couple couple less games played, handful, and maybe that cost him, I don't know. But he ended up with 159 hits, went under for everybody, right? We heard Pete, everybody bitching. Now they put him up even higher after that season. Huh. Maybe we just take Vladdy hits and we just go about our dad. Yeah. Are we worried about conditioning? No, not really. Okay. Because they also have a guy now to uh, take him off his feet a little bit. 
looks like they're going to be, I can only assume, uh, like, I don't know how often it's going to be happening, but he's not going to have to play the field as much this season, you would think. So they got guys to kind of slot in there now, like mm-hmm. Justin Turner. Justin Turner will probably play first base a couple of games. And they'll give Vladdy a, a couple extra DH games. Good. Good. Surprise you guys aren't on Soto on your home runs. Um, yeah. Dead Larry Bird, even I don't want to sign up for that shit. You know who will be in my go well, though. It's not soda, but it will be a less than home runs and it will hit. Yeah. Judge. Judge. Talk about Judge. <sighs> He's going in that shit. Is he? Yep. That's unreal, dude. Has to be done. That's unreal. Has to be done. I can't get behind Soto. I think Soto goes nuclear this season. I can get behind Aaron Judge, who got bumped down three home runs for no fucking reason. Well, it's for a reason. He's hurt. He's healthy as an ox from the Yankees fans right now. <laughs> healthy as an ox. Spring beat up. He's ready to roll. Spring beat up is crazy. Got to regret that one. You guys are acting like he wasn't the freest square on earth last year. I don't get it. Yeah, it, was, it was the same thing that everybody said last year. There it back, goes. Back to back. Yeah. back to back is crazy, perhaps. Yeah. I mean, it is what it is, but if a square like that hits, I feel like I have to run it back. Fair. We'll see. Chad, I'm dropping that puppy later today. All right. What do we have so far? Are you putting in that Vladdy hits? I'm more than down. I think you put I think you put Vladdy hits season. in there. 100 okay. percent This is six piece. Let's take a peep at it. Nothing's finalized here. We got Volpe, more than half a multi-home run game. Jack Flaherty, by and low, more than 128 and a half strikeouts. <clears throat> Excuse me. We got Matt Olson, less than 42 and a half home runs. Sure. Lane Thomas, fading the dad strength. That should go well. Fading the Nats. That should go well. Less than 22 and a half home runs. Should definitely go We got well. Pete Alonzo, more than 108 season RBIs. And we've got Vladdy bounce back here. More than 165 hits. Chat, what are we thinking about this puppy? Javon, Goots, what are your guys' thoughts? All ears. As much as I agree with the lane take, I feel it's giving yeah. me bad vibes. I was just going to say that. It's giving me bad vibes. Bad vibes. Hmm. 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 Yes, he's. Well, I'll be posted on Twitter, my man. You want to take out Lane, huh? Yeah. You want to put in your favorite square, Zach Allen? I mean, that's that's up to you. Or we can. I mean, there's still squares out there that I think are pretty solid. We do still have who a guy who's now going to be <laughs> Davis to take out Lane. Fine. Now going to now going to be in a, a playing opening day, which I didn't expect. Nolan Bonds and Coors. He's back, huh? He's Ow. back. Hmm. So I mean we have we have Gallon, we have Abrams if you want to switch stats. We have Nolan Bonds. We still have options. How many pitchers we got right now? One? Why don't I see him? Yeah, we just have one, right? Who are you looking for, Gates? No one. Did he get taken off board again? Damn. No. They put him back up after he got announced that he was yeah, playing. He's out. Now he's gone yeah, he again. There. He gone. GG, dude, GG. He gone. Well, Abram yeah, no. steals. No Nats because Steam Crabs and everything, but the Nats don't hit. will be an hour long. Good point, Joel. <laughs> Joel's getting out, of, he's getting out ahead of it. I don't blame that. Gunner. Arenado, we were talking about the other night. Sure. We're talking about Arenado. Gunner Henderson. Yeah, Goots, where's your fucking meat on tape, Square? Yeah, where's your where's your nugs, Goots? My my meats for meat on tape was already done. It was House Song Kim. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. It's already going. Fuck. You are right. Abrams <laughs> is 36 and a half SBs. That's not good. On the blue book. Yeah, stolen base lines aren't really sharp. Wherever you go. What about Torque? Ooh, Torque. CH Nukes. He's not on he's not on board, is he, Fat Girls? Strand? 
No, he's not. I don't think. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna say there's no way he's on the board, or else that would have been that would have been a my go well. Raise yeah, Yankees trade bang. Who the fuck are they trading? Hmm. Ben Rovident. What the fuck? I mean, it's better than what the Rays have. Hmm. Rene Pinto. He's probably going to be starting damn near opening day now. Involved in that birdie trade. Opening series. Oh, Rays slotted in the birdie trade. Sure. <laughs> sure. Damn. Well, it's better than um, having Pinto, only a catcher on the roster. Hmm. Put some respect on Pinto Beans, did Jen say? Him? He seems pretty he's, happy. He's ass, dude. Pinto's ass, respectfully. Damn. As much as I want him to be good, he's ass. Ultimate MLB The Show King Noodle Bat. Huh. Crabs, O'Neill Cruz, please. We can't do that. We can't do O'Neill Cruz. No cruise missiles. Can't do O'Neill Cruz. No. Can't do O'Neill Cruz. Um, I think I'm also out on Port. We could put Seiya in there from Fat Girls. Could be a sign that uh, when we went to Chicago, I kind of just bought a Seiya jersey just because it was there. And they had it like for 50 bucks or some shit, and we're going to the game. I remember that. Yeah. I bought the hot dog t shirt. You bought the you know discounted jersey. Yeah. Was that sure. a Vladdy bump I saw? Bump? Where? You got him at 165? Oh. Now, wait a damn minute. <laughs> I have him at 164. Wow. Good. Good. Bump Easy. Easy. <laughs> Unbelievable. Is Wyatt Langford up now? I wish. So we could fade him. That'd be cool, though. Um, <laughs> Gosh, man. Maybe it is Seiya. Could just be Seiya. I love that cell job from Fat Girls. And he's been... That's like the one one guy on the Cubs I am petrified of. Fat Girl, stand up, bro. You can sit there silently and chat. What's going on? No, he's been, I know he's you're been right talking. here lurking, bro. He's been talking. I know he's in here lurking. Seiya is underrated. Yes, I know. He's also the hottest hitter right now in baseball. You know what we can put in there? Who? Mahomes less than passing yards. Dude. <laughs> Start rolling it over, putting one square from another season. Yeah, electric. <laughs> we could just say cut the shit and put Abram stolen bases in there. It's not a bad shot either. I'm not going to argue that. <laughs> my gut tells me say uh my heart tells me abrams my brain tells me gallon Ooh, that was a sneaky third brain play a lot of thoughts going on right now. Why is Gallon not already in this? Well, because we're trying to craft a BTL out Geiserman, and we didn't know if we wanted to pull some from our, you know, solo units. But I'm getting to the point where I kind of want to see green. Last year we smacked our BTL six pace. People forget. Maybe we keep it simple and we do put, you know, our favorite squares in there. I got my Pete square in there. You've got your Zach Gallon ERA square in there, and we go about our day. Yeah, it's mean, also I'm, less fun. It is also kind of less fun. I feel like the fun of it is kind of expanding our investments. Want to run a duck race? <laughs> I can't have a. I can't sleep at night knowing a duck race decided this. Everyone's chat's gonna start saying quack now. Watch. Quack. Oh, okay. quack! There we go. There you Here go. they come. Okay. I don't oh, know. Jay, ask ask the chat, man. What do we want to do? I, I, gowns green. But I feel like we can also craft multiple green squares, regardless of where we go. I don't know, man. They just keep saying quack. Vlad hits removed. <laughs> There's no fucking way. No, it's still right there. Dude, what are we doing? Bro, fake banging, bro. I bet. 
What are we doing? All can right. Can we ban on Twitter? <clears throat> All right. Should we let them? Should we run a poll, or should we just pick? They want to run a poll. They probably want a poll. All right. Let's get chat. So what are the ball. options? So the options are Gallon Abrams. And what? Yeah, let's go. Say ya more than 21 and a half home runs. Let's go Abrams steals. And let's go Gallon ERA. Well, do we also what do we want to do? Do we want to keep Pete in there too? Because that's also going to be in yours for leaving out mine. I guess you should. Yeah, I open, think we, we see how this that plays out. If, I think we see how this poll plays out. And if your gallon square gets put in there, we definitely leave. If gallon goes in, we'll leave Pete. There. But if not, we'll go with the other two. Okay. All right. I'm going to run it for sure. two minutes. Two minute poll. Chat, you guys are involved. All right. You guys help us pick this BTL season long Megalodon. All right. I'm throwing $1,000 on this puppy. Lock the fuck in. Make Don't sure I have it right. Saya, home runs, Abram steals, Gallon ERA, right? Yep. Yeah. Perfect. We'll let chat decide what they like the best. Chad, pick the winner. Pick the winner. All right. Don't pick the one you want to sweat out the most. Don't pick the biggest name. Don't pick the guy you want to watch on, on Thursday, right? On opening day tomorrow. Pick the winner, will you? Abram. I'm putting a rack of rune on this puppy. I believe. I believe. All right. We've done our jobs. We've done our work. We have plenty of squares, plenty of options. Oh, now yeah. we get you guys involved. Gallon's more, my bad. Yeah, Gallon people, is people more than ERA. The people know that we're good. Gallon is more than ERA. Wow, Abram steals. People Abrams. love that. People so love it, that. So shit. if it holds, we'll go. We'll go. Abram steals and sale. Okay. Entry. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Jack, get those deads in. Hurry up. Go, 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 go. We're gonna do the squad ride here in a moment. But for now, we gotta get the fucking MLB BTL season long Megalodon. Crafted. Are we taking out Pete? Um, if this poll stands, yeah. Okay. If this poll stands, yeah. Which I am more than fine with, and we probably should keep it separate. Yeah, I'm fine we with that. We probably shouldn't overlap. It's kind of like cheating. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know um, if I bought that. It's just fun. Might be worse. <laughs> Might be worse. No fun around here, Javon. Only winners. No Only. fun allowed. Wander home runs. Squad rides have been going, and we should not be allowed to have any fun. Yeah, we got to pick up the fun. Straight up. Hopefully, get yeah. one today before baseball. Chad, if this squad ride doesn't hit tonight, I'll give away hundred dollars on BTL tomorrow. All right. We're cold. Only one way to change the vibes. All right. If the squad ride doesn't hit tonight, I will give away hundred dollars in chat on BTL tomorrow. Remind my ass. Remind my ass in chat. All right. Did someone say Matt Walner? Ooh. <laughs> He's on my fantasy team, so y'all be better saying Walner every day. You imagine he was a, we were able to put him in the go well. He used to have crabs come on and say his name every day. Yeah. I mean, that would have played. That, that would have been that, 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 that would have been a cheat code. Yeah. When are the personals dropping? Mine's dropping later today. Your yeah, mom. mine too. Good. As soon as I get graphic. Good. Love that. Riley Kugel to the transfer portal. Yeah, guys, let's just keep the portal out of the talk today because all it does is piss me off because everyone's leaving. Um, <laughs> man. All right. CJ Abrams steals. Not mad about it one bit. You know, I'm more than down to sweat this out the entire season. Are you kidding me, guys? Right up the street. Come on. That's elite. And we will take out Pete and we will put in Seiya from Fat Girls. And we'll get Lane. Fat Girls and Mid Major Matt their flowers when we post this puppy because those two squares are from that. Yes. All right. So, Goots, if we can show the the six piece, if possible. Yep. I'm happy to fill in the gaps if needed. But we should be solidified here, folks. And I'm going to lock this puppy in now. Yeah, I'm about to, too. Can we get the more thans and the less thans all together? Is that possible? Am I asking for the world? Let me do it's it. Like that. You can Let do, do it. it. Let me do it. All right. Let me make crabs. That look happy. pretty. We're going to be looking at this thing all year, huh? Real pretty. Got to be pretty. <laughs> Come on, chats. People forget we literally smacked the six-piece last year doing the same shit. 
It's only one less end, so. Okay. Yeah, just throw it on the end, I guess. Yep. Um, link. Yes, I will. I will put the link in here right now. But let me lock in this puppy. All right, we got Volpe. <clears throat> Excuse me. Definitely have some sort of disease from uh, Las Vegas. I really can't smell that well. We're not sure. Talk about it. Cat the Volpe. Cat. Cat can the barely cat smell. Crazy. Not gonna ask any questions. Uh, Volpe Flaherty. We've got Vlad. Bloody. Volpe, Flaherty, Vladdy. I'm liking the sounds of these. Vladdy East. Um, who else we got? CJ. CJ. Come on, CJ, you motherfucker. Get those legs loose. Get those legs loose. Suzuki. And then who is the less than puppy? Awesome. Yeah, about Olsen. Awesome. Yeah, I love that square. It's just nasty. I'll be honest, when Matt was pitching that on the spaces yesterday, I didn't hear a word that came out of his mouth. It didn't matter. <laughs> it didn't matter. Because all that mattered was that he's taken Matt Olson after having a career season. The guy's been the healthiest, luckiest guy in baseball. Not luckiest, but healthiest guy in baseball the last couple seasons. He's been mashing. Well, why is that number a little low? Hmm. Hmm. In that lineup, too. In that ballpark, too. Baseball's like the fly. He's getting 40 on the nose, and that's it. I'm liking it. No, yeah. there's not an L in here. I wish Matt was in here so we could gas him up, but we will on Twitter. Yeah. We will yeah. on Twitter. All right, chat. Six piece. Hold the fry. I'm going to drop the link in here right now, and then we're going to do the squad rides. Okay. Volpe, more than half multi home run games. Jack Flaherty, more than 128 and a half strikeouts. Vladdy, more than 165 and a half hits. CJ Abrams, more than 38 and a half stolen bases. Say a Suzuki, more than 21 and a half home runs. And Matt Olson, less than 42 and a half home runs. Book that shit. I'm putting a rack of room. Wow, I got a free six piece from Talon Trent's, I think. I know. I was looking at that. I feel like I shouldn't use that on this. Gentlemen, it's making me use this. It's time for the MLB Goat Whip. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Come on, Shark Lar. Sure we can. Love that, bro. I mean, it's it's making me place it with this, Jermon. I don't really know what else to do. Brother. I know. I might make another six band just to bullshit. Use that as my free entry. To win 5K? So what's the risk on that? How much did you put on trans entry? 250, I believe. That's Then that's it, right? Yeah. 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 <clears throat> okay. Huh. Well, I'm still going to place it for a rack. I don't give a shit. The other one will just be a bonus. All right. Rackaroon to win 25 racks. Holy shit. Holy shit. That's crazy. Thousand dollars to win 25K. We're locked. We're locked. It'd be so locked. We're locked. All right. I'm going to send you guys this link right now. We're going to get the squad ride moving and, gro uh, moving and grooving. Good. Run that shit. W's link is right here, spawning in chats. There it goes. Lock it in. Go, go, go. Hurry up. Prize picks wouldn't let me up my shit, so I can only win 10K. Hit them up on their um, reports and ask for a higher limit if you want. All right? Chats, it's about that time. We have been moose shit with the squad rides of late. Okay? Plain and simple. Moose shit. Having him one of the week. Have to lock in today, Javon. What are we loving on this Wednesday slate? You know, I cannot get that Bulls pick from you out of head. Really cool. can't. Yeah. Hmm. I am more than down. Take the Bulls plus two and a half. Making sure there's no bullshit line movements or injuries since we've been on here. Looks pretty good to me. Looks pretty I solid. I mean, Seattle too. Moving to favorite. It's kind of hard to ignore. I'm really liking Seattle as well. That's a 5 yeah. p.m. start, though. It starts in three hours, Javon. Ooh. 5 p.m. Eastern. It's kind of yeah. early. It's kind of early. It's an early start, folks. That can be that can be unofficial. Unofficial. Okay. Unofficial uh, early, early sweat. Yeah, early sweat, early squad ride. Um, I mean, we both like what Clippers. Six and a half. Yeah, they're moving, they're grooving. That game's probably, I mean, if it's close, they're probably going to lose. 
So like I, I have no idea or no problem laying the points because I think they're gonna win by a lot. They either cover by a million or they get blown out and lose outright. Yeah, I've, I'm not not worried about anything happening in between. All right, so we'll do Seattle ML. We'll do the Bulls plus two and a half. We will do hmm, Clippers minus six and a half. Is that what they're up to now? Yeah, I see some six and a halves. Dude, what about – I mean, uh, I feel good about the Senators. I know people are probably not going to vote for that and go to the ice, but we have two games slate. And what would have we learned from very short – Two game, three game slates. You take the sketchy dogs. dogs. Take yeah, the sketchy one dog. of those dogs. Dogs is barking. Yeah, I mean, one of the dogs is the Bruins, and that's a okay. chalky. I mean, that's a basically a pick 'em game. So there's not really a dog. I would argue there. I'm down. Let's put Ottawa in that puppy. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in. Ottawa ML. One more play. What about? You want to take the Nats and fade the Wizards? Yeah. I mean, I'd be fine going to the grave with the Wizards not winning four in a row. Yeah. Brooklyn minus three and a half. I'm in for that. Chat, five plays, five winners on this beautiful Wednesday slate. All right, don't blow your whole bankroll today. We've got Sweet 16. We've got MLB season starting up tomorrow. Be conservative today. Be targeted. All right, be responsible. But make sure you're tailing the squad rounds because we're not fucking losing again. All right? Five plays, five winners. Hurry up, go, go, go. You have one minute, and then we have the surge stream right after this. Lock the fuck in. Five plays, five winners. Seattle ML. We got the Bulls plus two and a half. Clippers minus six and a half. We got Ottawa ML on the ice. And the Nets minus three and a half right down the street in D.C. against the Red Hot Whiz Kids. Love it. You're rushing. I don't think we're rushing, a Holtz. I'll be honest with you. These plays were all on our best bets. Yeah. All right? Yeah. No rushing. Okay. Javon, do you think the Bruins win? I think that's asking while the votes come in. I kind of do. It's just, I mean, for me, not just because I'm a, a fan, I'm a very unbiased fan. I don't want to fade the Lightning right now. I think they're making a serious run at the trade deadline. They made exactly the ads they want, and they're playing fantastic wow. hockey right now. But, 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 the Bruins getting faded off of a back to back with the Lightning, who pretty much rested like Braden Point and Victor Hedman against the Ducks just so they could play in this game kind of seems like the very easy thing to do. It's like I, I still mm. lead the Bruins, but I don't want to fade the Bulls. That's fair. That's fair. Chat, I dropped the link for the BTL MLB season long Megalodon one more time in the chat. If you want to tail it, the link is right there. <clears throat> Cannot be easier to tail, okay? Takes literally two seconds. You click on it. It takes you right into your app, and you click submit. All right? Takes you right there. Lock the fuck in. Javon. It's looking like it's going to be the Clippers. Ooh, your play. Clippers, Good. Clippers part 75, Trent. Catching steam. Yeah. Yeah, why yeah. not? Harden against I feel like the overall Sixers. the Clippers have treated us pretty well. We have. I mean, I've I've picked whether it's overall. just the Clippers as a team or like a couple Harden spots. I feel like I've picked them pretty well. And I have no, no issue going to the Clippers when they're going to play Harden's former team in Philly. Mm. He doesn't oh. let's go clips they lost to them last time let's see if they can get some revenge minus six and a half for the squad ride this is how we get out of piss this is how we break the streak and we change everything chat lock the fuck in tail the squad ride responsibly this afternoon and stick around for the surge stream spoon feed trent a winner today he needs it all right stay tapped stay dialed we'll catch you guys tomorrow same time same place we'll be seeing